Hi, welcome to this latest episode of Lightboard Lessons. And today, we're going to talk about OpenShift. And OpenShift is an application platform that, straight from OpenShift's website, allows you to automate the build, deployment, and management of applications so that you can focus on writing the code for your next big idea. And we're building on top of, we, we talked about uh, Docker containers, we talked about Kubernetes, which is kind of the orchestration uh, layer of that uh, container environment. And, and then OpenShift brings the, uh, uh, the uh, platform uh, to that environment. And so if we kind of recap where we were, we had, you know, the host OS here. And then, um, you know, Docker kind of sits on top of that. And this is where your, uh, and it doesn't have to be Docker, um, but this is where your uh, containers and, uh, and, and your uh, packaging is occurring. And then you had your Kubernetes. Oh, I'm going to draw that across here. Doop. And then you had your uh, Kubernetes. Um, and then along with uh, Kubernetes, you had uh, your Etsy CD. And if you recall, that's where your key value store of uh, cluster and config state uh, was. And so uh, we start to build on that with OpenShift. And, and this is where you have your, your Kubernetes extensions. And that is additional resource types uh, that are stored in this uh, the key value pairs in etcd. Um, and are managed by Kubernetes. And so uh, these form the OpenShift config and internal state, and the primary types are deployment configs, and those are pods that manage workflows like rolling updates. You've got your uh, build configs, so we got your uh, deployment uh, config, and you've got your build configs. And uh, these are, uh, you know, where you build container images um, from the app sources in Git repos. And it works with the deployment configs to provide basic uh, CI CD workflows. And then uh, also in those extensions, you have the routes. And that's, you know, DNS or host name recognized by OpenShift as, um, as an app or a microservice ingress point. All right. And then after that, you kind of build up here a little bit. We'll go another layer. And then you have the uh, containerized services here. Uh, I'll do services. So that doesn't look like servers. And these comprise in, uh, infrastructure functions like network and authorization. And OpenShift leverages the basic Docker and Kubernetes infrastructure for most of those internal functions. And then we have runtimes. And so these uh, can be a customer provided, ready to use container images configured uh, with a particular runtime language or, or a database. And then at the top, we have the, uh, the DevOps tools. And, um, and the user experience. So you have your, uh, uh, at this layer, you have your CLI, you have your API, uh, GUI, you know, it's like a web console is uh, one of those tools. And then um, also your uh, SCM integration point. All right. And uh, these, uh, the web console CLI tools, they're built from REST APIs. Uh, which can be leveraged by integrated development environments uh, by your developers, continuous integration platforms. And so that's, that's kind of the climb the stack of what the, uh, the new parts uh, beyond Kubernetes. So if, uh, you know, Kubernetes uh, and, and Docker stopped, oops, sorry, uh, this kind of pink, whoop, I'm doing a mess here. Uh, these sections here are what's added uh, with uh, what, what OpenShift brings to the table. And so if we look at that uh, from an architecture standpoint, you know, what, what does that really bring um, to the table? Um, you have, you know, we talked about 
the routes, and that's kind of the, the integration point between what your app is and, and your, your end user. So your, uh, your routing layer is occurring here, and this is where um, you know, users are out here. Your environment is in here, uh, is below that. So let's uh, build a nice little block here. All right, and so what uh, OpenShift builds out is this master node, and you can have more than one in the environment, but you have this master, and this is where your devs and your ops will come in here, and devs will come in through either uh, uh, source code management, uh, other CI CD platforms, but uh, you'll come in here and and come to the master node there. Uh, dev, or I mean, sorry, ops will come in through you know whatever your uh, your automation tool sets are. So this is uh, other tool sets for managing your your operations, and uh, they come in here as well. But within this um, within this level, you have your uh, your administration in the master node. Uh, you have your data store store and then uh, and then within uh, the master node then that also manages what is your your typical uh, kubernetes uh, and in docker environment so you have your nodes and so this is the node level and then of course you have your pods inside that so you would have pods and so that's one, two, three, four, however many particular pods you have uh, within a node and, and uh, the various different application services that would be uh, deployed within those nodes. And, uh, and then you have your services layer. And this is where your, um, your build and um, deployment config uh, comes into play where a lot of these things will uh, be up like if you're doing rolling upgrades and 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 whatnot will be handled there and then of course under services layer you have um, really the OpenShift Docker and and all of that uh, container environment can be on physical virtual uh, private public doesn't really matter uh, where the compute power lives uh, you know o OpenShift manages or you can use uh, the OpenShift platform uh, to, uh, to deploy all that. And so it, it kind of abstracts. If you think about the, a virtual um, environment like uh, uh, VMware, a vCloud, it, uh, it abstracts enough of the, the workload of building out virtual servers that uh, you can free up your, your own cycles to do other things. Well, you know, OpenShift is kind of the same thing for an app developer. It kind of abstracts all of the, uh, the responsibility of managing compute infrastructure, all of that, and, and, uh, and, and does it um, very well. And so, you know, what is the value add for OpenShift? Uh, it gives you the, uh, the source code management, managing builds and deployments, managing and promoting images at scale, um, gives you app management at scale, it allows you to track your teams and users, especially on larger development teams, you have advanced, um, enhanced network infrastructure uh, beyond just what uh, you get in Kubernetes uh, with uh, your app routing and uh, an integrated VXLAN-based SDN. And then uh, also important to a lot of teams, that tightly integrated uh, role-based access and authorization control. So in a nutshell, this is what, uh, what OpenShift brings to the table. Uh, on OpenShift's website, they have a ton of documentation uh, that will uh, give you, uh, obviously, all the, the nitty gritty details of what they provide. And uh, our next talk building up from Docker to Kubernetes to OpenShift is, is working into our, um, our app connectors uh, that uh, equip you to integrate all of this into, you know, an, into the F5 story. So uh, come back and, and see us for that video. If you've liked this, uh, click subscribe on our channel and we'll see you out there in the community.